you're thinking that my life is a hoot and a holler from the start of the day to the dark of the night that it's ringing like a bell that you only want to follow you gotta trust me when I say I'm just trying to get it right Still I think about myself As the luckiest dreamer And if you're asking me to tell Is it worth what I pay? You're gonna hear me say Hell yeah it is First got interested in Neil Diamond back when I was between 8th grade and freshman year of high school uh, I broke my leg and I had a cast for my ankle to my hip and I was just stuck on the porch with nothing to do. My mom bought me um, the A-Track player that looked like a space helmet and my brother owned Hot August Night. So I would listen to that. My mom bought me a guitar and then the sheet music for Hot August Night, the big book, which for the longest time we called the Bible. <laughs> um, and I just learned how to play, uh, I learned how to play uh, the guitar to Hot August Night. I came home from work one day and I heard uh, I heard a little music coming from the basement, and I asked my wife, Jan, and I said, who's there, who's down there? And, and she said, just the boys. I said, I hear three people play. I hear a bass, drums, and guitar, and I go down there, and <clears throat> Spencer's playing the, the, the drums and playing the bass at the same time, and Luke's playing the guitar, and I thought, wow, that's pretty good. People just started asking for the boys more and more, and, and, and I had no problem if it became, you know, um, the Jewels and Denny Diamond, I had no problem at all. Um, but we started doing more interaction on stage, we started being funny with each other, like, like we are at home, and, and we started saying, hey, come to the show, it's like being at dinner with us, you know, it's like being in our living room. And it really is, I mean, it's, we interact the same way at home as we do on stage, and it's just, the whole thing just started to flow and take over. and. And then as we started to, um, people started to appreciate the family part of it, along with the great music we were performing. I mean, the whole thing just clicked. We are the underdog of the Neil Diamond industry. <laughs> we're the, the, little, the little band that could, trying to reach the top, just like everyone else. We're, we're, the, we're the ones going up the Diamond Mountain. 2008, when uh, the economy crashed, I mean, we, um, we, we battled through it, you know, um, that was really tough financially. And we've always, I've always, you know, said, you know, I could go back to programming. And in 2008, I actually tried and found that uh, they don't, they don't, you have to be 12 years old to be a programmer now, you know, they don't appreciate, you know, um, experience. So we kept battling through it. So if they asked you and I'm gone, was it everything he wanted? When it was time to travel on, did he know he'd be missed? But well, you can tell them this, 